Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about the metal lathe. So this is a machine that's used to turn metal bars or nylon bars. It's a very useful machine, but it's also a very dangerous machine. So I'm just going to introduce you to it today and just the different parts of it. So this is a machine that we normally start with in second year is when we kind of get introduced to it first. And we use it all the way until sixth year. Um, there's a lot to it, so I'll start here on this side. This is the headstock. And inside in here, we've got all the gears and the motor that turns the chuck. These knobs here, you don't need to know anything about them. I sort them out and they can just adjust the speed. This is the chuck. So this is what actually holds the piece of metal, the round bar. And we've got a chuck key. The chuck key opens and closes and makes sure that the metal bar is held securely in the chuck. Very important with the chuck key that you do not leave it in. Because if you leave it in and you turn on the lathe, you can imagine this will start spinning and this will uh, fly out and it can be very, very dangerous. This is the chuck guard. And the chuck guard needs to be in place if we're going to start the lathe. So if you see here, nothing happens. When I put it down, it starts to spin. So I've mentioned the chuck, the chuck guard. Now we've got all these handles here. So this is the carriage here. And this moves this whole assembly across the lathe bed. This is the carriage. We've then got the cross slide that moves it this direction, back and forth. The top slide, which moves it the same way as the carriage, but you can get a lot more precise and controlled movement. We've then got the tool post that can hold our different types of tools. We'll be talking about them in the next video. Here then, we've got an automatic feed. So the automatic feed gives us a consistent feed rate uh, along the carriage. So if I go to here, you can see it's slowly moving at a nice consistent pace. This is obviously to turn it on and off as we've seen. So you bring it out and down. That turns in one direction, but you can also bring it out and up if you want to reverse the direction. It's back and forth. And then finally, we have the tailstock. So the tailstock can be moved in and out as such. And this is used for drilling or if you're turning a large piece, we can put in what's called a live center in here. So the tailstock is secured in place by this lever. So if you tighten that lever, the tailstock doesn't move. And this shorter lever then restricts this from moving here. So when we're drilling, we just turn the handle at the end of the tailstock to drill into our piece. Inside here, we've got the lead screw. Uh, that's dangerous, so that's why we have it covered. And other than that then, um, that's all the parts of it. So what I'm gonna in in include at the end of the video here is a compilation of some demonstrations of pieces. I'm not gonna go into detail, I just want you to see what it looks like and it's quite satisfying to watch. So I'll put them on screen now. You've made it to the end of the video. So to say a thank you to all my amazing students for all the support and their input for the videos, we've decided to do our first giveaway on the channel. So to be in with a chance of winning these lovely wireless 
Bluetooth headphones. All you need to do is like the video and drop a comment below explaining why you enjoy technology and engineering. And what I will do is next week then I will pick a random comment as the winner of the headphones. Okay, thank you. And uh, the third year is requested I say this. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe.